Good morning, world. Hello, everyone, everywhere. Pastor Robert Thibodeau here with another session of Prayer 2021 for today, which is August 7. Scripture reading for today comes from Luke 22, verse 41. He withdrew about a stone's throw beyond them, knelt down, and prayed. Let's go to the Lord with a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, kneeling, sitting, standing. It doesn't matter. We are here, Father in prayer to listen for the sound of your voice rustling in the mulberry trees. We're here, Father, to sense the presence of your Holy Spirit as you lead and guide us in our prayers and in our Bible study this day. We are here, Father, to be used by you as inspired by the Holy Spirit to fulfill our calling in life, whatever that might be. We are here, Father, this day to serve you and tell people about Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all you've done for us. Have your way with this broadcast, sir. It's our sincere prayer that someone somewhere this day would receive Jesus as their Savior. To you, Father, we give all honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Yesterday, we started to look at what the Apostle James, the Lord's brother, had to say about prayer. We looked specifically at James 5, verse 13 to 18, which reads, Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing songs. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he's committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Elijah was a man subject to like passages as we are. He prayed earnestly that it might not rain and it did not rain by the earth, on the earth by the space of about three years, six months. And he prayed again. And the heaven gave rain, the earth brought forth her fruit. Now, we left off discussing one of the big areas Christians fall short on doing. And not all Christians, but enough that we can clearly see that some are lagging behind in their faith. And that area was the first one James discussed. If any among you are afflicted, let them pray. We also learned that many Christians do not do that. They would rather pick up the phone and have someone else do their praying for them. But according to James, if you are going through a test or a trial, which is what we discover the word affected means, it does not mean sickness and disease. No. Then we are going through a trial or a test. We, you, are the one who is supposed to pray for yourself. Period. That does not mean that we're not supposed to pray for one another. I'm not saying that at all. But God clearly wants us to be spiritually mature enough to pray for ourselves first. And when you learn to do your own praying, you begin experiencing greater and greater victories in life. Why? Because you're building and strengthening your faith just like you would your own body. When you have to depend on others to do the praying for you, you are putting your faith in them, not God. Amen. Don't shut me down when I'm preaching good. And when you habitually become accustomed to asking others to pray for you, you actually weaken your faith and become an easier target for other attacks from the devil. You will continue to need to ass the assistance of someone, a person, to do your praying for you because you become so weak. There will come a time when nobody will be immediately available to help you. And you will not be able to pray yourself out of a wet paper bag. Something as simple as a sneeze could end up having you fall down the stairs and break your leg or break your neck. That may be an extreme example, but you understand the importance of what I'm sharing here, right? Amen. God wants you to triumph in every situation and every circumstance that you could ever find yourself in throughout your life. He did not design you to fail. You are not a failure. You are a victor. Amen. Far from being a failure or a victim, you need to be a victor in Christ. He designed you to be the victor, to have victory in, by, and through Christ Jesus. And just as salvation is between you and the Lord, 
so is your prayer life. So when you find yourself facing a test or trial, no matter what it is, an ingrown toenail to something absolutely horrific and dangerous, do not, let me repeat, do not go to others for prayer first. Do your own praying first. Start to exercise that spiritual authority you have first. You may be surprised how powerful your prayer life will be. So much so, others will start calling you for prayer. Oh, amen. We're about out of time for today. I want to pray with you that this message resonated with your spirit and you will begin to start to pray about the smallest things. Laura, should I use a blue ink pen or a ink, red ink pen today? Should I use this cup of coffee this kind or this cup of coffee that kind? Lord, on the way to work, should I turn here and take a different route? Should I go straight the regular route? Little things like that. You've heard me talk about uh, going into a parking lot at the mall. Lord, Give me a parking space. I need a parking space. And lo and behold, no sooner would I say that, somebody would be backing out right about the same spot where I was looking to park. I mean, it's it's amazing when you give God praise for these little things and answering the little prayers, you just expect the big prayers to be answered too. Amen. And you've heard the story about my granddaughter and that doctor appointment. And it's, oh, the stories are endless. They really are. But I would be unable to pray effectively like that if I had not learned to pray for myself first. And that's where I want to leave you at. Amen. Uh, leave a comment rating down below. Uh, if you have two, three minutes, jump over on iTunes. Just go to the iTunes store, search for Prayer 2021. You'll see the icon there. Click on it. Leave us a rating and a review. It really does help us to get the word out. Amen. Also, go visit our website, podcastforchrist.com. Take a look around there. Download those free resources. You'll be blessed. That's why we put them there. Till next time, it's Pastor Bob uh, reminding you again for 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, the Living Bible, to always keep on praying. Be blessed, folks. Talk again tomorrow.